This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News, and today we have Mike Bonowitz, who's Vice President of Cloud and Fiber Strategies for Nexius. Mike, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. So this week, Nexius and UT Dallas researchers announced a uh, NFE SDN paper that focuses on key performance indicators. What can you tell us about the, the report? Yes, uh, so Nexius uh, and University of Texas Dallas have relationships uh, from the telco industry that uh, we got together and decided we should take a look at how NFV is going to impact operators from its migration from an academic practice into more of a production rollout that we're starting to see with NFV. Um, we, we look to take some of the long-standing disciplines in the telco industry and apply new modern development practices from the IT and technology industries and study the, uh, the combination of the two to help operators manage the migration into NFE and SDN based networks. Oh, you're quoted in the article as saying that the shift from you know, physical network elements to virtual uh, network elements brings uncertainty and risk to a telco operator. Can you talk about you know, what, what that risk looks like and what you're starting to see or what you're, you're, you're suggesting to your customers to look for uh, to minimize uh, uh, risk and ensure quality of service? Indeed. So, so the transition is, is, is very fundamental for the operators when they're going from uh, fixed static architectures of physical devices to highly dynamic architectures that are changing in the matter of seconds, as well as uh, agility-based components that are coming into the network frequently on the order of weeks or months um, compared to the years of life cycle for physical hardware, hardware deployments. So this brings a couple of challenges that can be very disruptive to the operator space. Um, one, just the overall degree of change. The network is always in flux. Um, and, and two, um, the practice of software development um, has not really been under the purview of the operators in the past outside of some of the, uh, uh, the orchestration systems. Now it's front and center within the actual networking functions themselves. And so some of the uh, best practices from the IT industry needed to be incorporated into the operators now to manage the software-based networking components compared to the old hardware-based. So what are some of the specific KPIs that um, you bring to bear in your report? Um, so there's two categories. Uh, one is, is where we try to take an approach very familiar to the operators, which is the FCAPS model um, of fault configuration, accounting, performance, and security uh, you know, that's been around for decades now. And we, we took a look at, at how the NFV landscape changes those metrics and introduced some ideas on, on what operators need to think about in virtualized functions compared to how their FCOPS models look today. And then the second category is more around the agility, the ability to introduce new and innovative changes very quickly, um, API-driven um, interfaces towards customers as well as as towards network management. So those two categories are where we're, we're looking at some new KPIs to help manage the transition into NFV without it being disruptive. And you also mentioned in the press release this term called DevOps. What does that term mean? I've been hearing it quite a bit lately. Indeed, and you won't get the same definition twice, I'm, sh I'm sure. But in general, it, it is truly the, the combination of development, best practices and disciplines and that of, of operations, you know, most specifically network operations, a very hardened science uh, that, that has been, you know, unfolding over decades, and whereas IT is a much more nimble infrastructure. And it's bringing the two together um, in a manner that allows rapid change and innovation to take place without sacrificing uh, stability and reliability of the network. And you also mentioned a case study of virtual DVR. What does that mean? Uh, the virtual DVR is um, one of the areas of NFE that we see as a, a leading uh, capability out there where functionality that used to sit on a set-top box, um, like a video recorder, um, can now be moved into the cloud. And simple networking components that uh, are at the home are now able to deliver a rich set of services that are always changing based upon the functionality sitting in the cloud behind that access connection. 
And in, in the context of the virtual DVR, you mentioned the cable company. Uh, does this report with UT Dallas focus on both the traditional telco as well as the cable company? It does, and and more importantly, there's there's new entrants into the networking uh, industry now that are are some of the modern uh, web-based companies that are in, in essence driving a lot of the the pressures for innovation and change into the carrier industry. 